Some theories suggest jewelers used this electricity to plate statues with gold. The method of electrolysis could this technique, used in industry even today, have been known 2,000 years ago? Or did it have a more mystical purpose, a magic used in temples to impress believers? That tingling sensation at your fingertips when you touched a statue. For that era, this meant the touch of God. Let's dig deeper. If this is technology, who gave them this knowledge? Did humanity find such complex chemical knowledge through trial and error? Or was this knowledge a legacy from a lost civilization, or perhaps from somewhere much further away? When the Baghdad Museum was looted, many of these batteries disappeared. As if someone wanted to destroy this evidence. History books speak of linear progress, a straight line from caveman to the space age. But the Baghdad battery is where this line breaks. There is a period in the past we have forgotten. Does the possibility that technologies we call modern today are actually rediscoveries scare you? Maybe our ancestors weren't as primitive as we thought. Maybe they were the masters of electricity. The Baghdad battery waits silently on museum shelves, 